In 1982, President Ronald Reagan was bringing the United States out of four miserable years under the Carter administration. Olivia Newton-John was number one on the top 100 billboard charts with Let's Get Physical. Kenworth Trucking Company was putting out the W900 series alongside the K100 cab over model. In 1982, truckers could get the Big Cam Cummins and the W900. And the customization of the W900 was on every trucker's mind. That gets us here. Let's see if this W900 still has some life left in it. How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning. How you doing? It's a little airish this morning. Yeah, I've got I got on the uh, long sleeve girly clothes, and you got on the manly short sleeve. I got so. on the new. Oh, you the do. The new shirt. Look at you. Oh, yeah. but, hey, look! This thing's making oil. <laughs> so this is two videos now that Wiley's been a model. If you want one of these shirts, we got them in our merchandise stuff below. Uh, we brought the TYM and the Homestead Implements bush hog today because Wiley has found something awesome. You ready? Ta-da! A W900. So we're going to start looking at this thing. We're going to get it cleaned up and we're going to get it cranked up for you guys. So let's check it out. Okay, this is a Kenworth W900A. We don't know what year it is yet, but we're going to be able to tell. But we uh, there's some telltale signs of what does give it some general era clues, right? right. And so we know that 1972, they went to these style door handles. It was late 60s, early 70s, they went to these door handles. But they also went to a bigger hood on the 900s to accommodate the new larger diesels and the and the radiators, the, big, the bigger line, uh, the bigger radiators and stuff. There is a year that they went to the raised sleeper, double sleeper, instead of the flat top sleeper. I think that was in the 80s though. But I, when I first came out here, I looked at the door handles and I knew that it was between a 72 and an 82. How long has it been sitting, Wiley? The owner says 10 plus years. He said it might be as high as 15. Yeah. He quit count. It ain't been started in 15 years. 15 years. <laughs> so uh, we're going to look see exactly what year it is. These things come with, um, they had small cam Cummins, big cam Cummins. They had, some of them had Detroits in them. Uh, the newer ones got the Packard stuff in them. But my assumption is this one's going to have a Cummins in it. Right. Um, you know, because you didn't see Detroits too often in these things. Fun fact, what's the W in W900 mean? Any guesses? Wiley? It means Wiley. Did you know that? Yeah, that's what I was named after, the old W900. <laughs> the old W900. Yeah. Oh, Lord. It I'm means... W230. Yeah, that's right. It's Worthington. Ken Worth is a combination of last names. So, Worth is Worthington, and that's the W900. Well, I did not know that. Yeah, there you go. That's your trivia for today. Oh, Lord, Wiley. Let's let the TYM do its thing. All right, let's get the tractor out. Let's get the chainsaw out. And let's see if we can't clean up around here a little bit. Looking good, buddy. Man, you can see her a little better now, can't you? Oh, look at that. Mm. That white steering wheel is just incredible. Got a wash nest there, there, back there. All right, let's see. Temp gauge, oil pressure, various gauges. Here's what the gauges look like, all the, the gonkulator stuff. Man, that's so cool. 
There's your brakes there. Man, you guys should smell this. Sleepers out of it. Just a wooden deck now. But I just love how they did it back in the day. You know what else I just thought about? Wood. I think maybe 82, they went to the rectangle headlights. And Wiley, we're not gonna drive it out of here. Why? And it ain't got no drive shaft. We'd have to cut the tree out of it. But then again, <laughs> oh Lord. It's gonna be fun to crank it up, baby. Hey, look here, Hank. Did you find the, there you go, 1982. I was close. So it must've been late 82 that they went to the rectangled. 82, 1982 Kenworth W900A. Let's raise the hood in it, Wiley. Really? Right. Probably gonna have to help. Oh yeah? Yep. All right, I got it. Well, I don't know if it's connected. I had it. <laughs> all right. Does it have all the components? Looks good on this side so far. Mm -hmm. You got the starter right there. Let me look. Yes, sir. All right. What do you think, Hank? Let's do it. Look at that. This thing's making oil. Yes, sir. There's one of those valves again, that water spigot. Okay, that was the alternator they took off. But that's no problem. Yeah, we don't need that, uh -huh. per se. Check water. All right, let me, let me climb up here and check that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Remember that story in the Bible about Ezekiel and the dry bones? Yeah. Okay, just... Dry as a bone. Wiley, you know, open, open caps on gas tanks ain't really a good sign, is it? This is embarrassing. <laughs> Here. There you go, man. Here we go. All right. Oh, look at that, Wally. I can smell that from here. That thing's making fuel. But it's 15 years, 11 months, and three weeks. Wiley. Hey. It's not going to start, dude. Why? Because... This is oh, not hooked up. You gotta hook that up. That's the coax. I mean, you can't. I mean, if you're not hooking that up, finally got us a hard one, Wiley. All right, let's get some tools. You want to? Yeah. While we're digging out tools, this is my toolbox lid wall of fame. If you're, uh, if you got a sticker and you want to send it to me, my PO box is in the description below. I'll put your sticker on my toolbox lid. Grab this and a little jumper. Try this one. Before we start getting too deep into it, I'm gonna check see if it's locked up. Sparky's gonna assemble the batteries. Mm -hmm. Wally, I'm so proud of you. Why? Because we ain't got not one single pair of vice grips on these batteries. <laughs> Let's see if this thing will bump. Where's your knife at? In my pocket. Put that up there. Anywhere with my pocket. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, it, ain't even, it didn't even flinch. I hope this ain't locked up. <laughs> it's such a sweet truck, dude. I mean, it's in rough shape, but man, these 900s are awesome. Wiley, there's not a belt on the crank crankshaft. I wasn't looking down here if it was bumping or not. I was looking at the fan, but now that I look down here, there's no belts on the pulley down here. No. Yeah, only belts I see are up here at the power steering pump and the maybe an air conditioner or something. Ah, it stinks, Wiley. What stinks? That, that ain't, it ain't showing any signs of life. You know, Wiley, everybody always says, why was this left in the woods? And what are you going to do with it once you get it up and running? You need to restore that. Well, we can't restore everything we see. But 99% of the time you guys see the equipment, we're either investigating it for a potential buyer or we're flipping it and we're buying it and flipping it. P tons of different possibilities of why it was left where it was left. But normally what we do with them is try to sell them or investigate them for a, a potential buyer. That's normally what we do. Also... I didn't know if you knew this or not, Wiley. 
but we're not mechanics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh Lord, people be like, y'all don't even know what you're doing. Well, that's true because we're not mechanics. They're very observant, aren't they? They're very observant. Captain Obvious making comments down there. I'll try it with the screwdriver this time instead of that jumper wire. Don't give up yet because it's just not. We're not having a good grounding, is that what you're saying? Or, or uh, shorten? Something's not right. Yeah. That's hot. Go. That's not ground. That's the hot. What's that red? What's that red wire right there? That's the ground. It's on the ground of the starter. Well, do they have them backwards? Do we need to change the batteries? No, we wouldn't we have gotten spark on the batteries if we were to. Hey, I got an idea, Wiley. All right. Well, trying to trace this cable. That's the hot. That was on the positive side of the battery, yep. That's the one we put on the hot. If it's hot, I don't know. It's, it's Hank. I mean, you you know, it's red, so you just think, oh, that's hot. All right, Hank. Yeah, how about looking? Follow the red and see if it's not on the ground of the starter with another piece. So this wire, or this battery cable, is the ground is the ground. And so here's here's where it comes out. You just have to trust me when I say that. It's down here at the bottom of the starter. The other cable coming off that lug is, is grounded to the block. So we had the ground on the positive. Yeah, why didn't it give us a sign? And why why would they use a red cable? It ain't a positive ground, is it? All right, go ahead and do it, Wiley. We looking for the broke one. Yeah. Uh, go Do it again. Yeah, I think that's the one you got. So it's not a positive ground. You know, we went to the old gonculator and they haven't been used since like the 60s and stuff. Very common in six volt systems, early 50s, 60s. Maybe it's just somebody needed a cable and they, the red one was all they had. So we'll find out here in just a minute, won't we, Wiley? Uh, yeah, it's kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> always challenges to work through here so y'all hang tight with us here and we're going to figure this out all right sparky do your thing yeah, really this, but it's not working at all <laughs> there you go here's the moment of truth it's going to fire up now while i got faith in you i don't understand why these black ones was hot i guess the frame was hot from the positive wasn't it yeah that's right i don't know that don't, it don't make sense to me now hank i'm telling you Nothing about what we just did, mate. One thing about motors, though, or engines, they'll tell you whether or not that it ain't wired right. Really? Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That's good. But so she's bumping now. That throws some uh, Marvel mystery oil in it. Sure. <laughs> All right. It's just stuck. I mean the valve cover, the valve, the top of the valve covers are easy to take off. We took that off in that freight line, remember? Yeah, but we had the wise one with us then. <laughs> Brando, the Hamiltonville Farm Master Mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder can we get some bolts and all? Oh, there's all kind. There's a there's a hose up here that's off right there. Oh, it's it's plugged though, so that's a good sign. Yeah, that's where the uh, breather is, right? I not even have to do all of them. I just man, I mean, I guess if you want to take them off, might as well do all of them, huh? No, look at there. Ain't that a valve cover on that one, too? Ain't that a breather on that one? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Sure is. Man, this open up. I ain't gonna tell them what's in there. Yeah, then you got here. Oh, my goodness, Wiley. What? You Rushed. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Wiley, this is not good. I'm talking Rusty Wallace over here. That Marvel Mister was some good stuff. Let's take this off and let's show them the inside. The moment of truth there, Wiley. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. Oh, gosh. Well, I'll say this. Maybe it's only the tops. Yeah. It's just the tops, Hank. Let's get some Marvel Mister on. So it ain't just the front bay. I can see water down in there. Right there, in between these two. It's just those rocker arms. 
looks bad. The valve seats or whatever those springs, springs don't yeah. look too bad. And it might just be surface rust. I don't think that I don't think they'll break if it, you know what I mean? Well, let's just put them in the top too and see if we can. Okay, yeah, that'd be enough. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna run and get some Marvel Mister Oil. I thought down there that should work, huh, Wally? I think it. I think it'll work. We we got to figure out a way to get on that harmonic balancer to turn it. Yeah. Might have to, the radiator's in the way, but I think we're gonna. Gonna to have to manually pull on that yeah. engine. Yeah. So let's go get some oil, throw it down here and keep at it. Throw it down the throat. Throw it down her throat. All right, buddy. But how's it gonna get in the cylinders? Will the seat down in there, you reckon? I think it will. It did on that. Champion. Champion. Down into the cylinders, I think. Good. That's a good sign, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll put the whole bottle in this one and then take this one out and do the front. Please don't be mad at us viewers for uh, not vacuuming in this out. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Boy howdy. Once we do this, we'll tell you all the game plan. All right, we're not giving up on this one. We're gonna come back to it. We'll add that oil, we'll let it set a couple days. Yeah. Three days later. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open up this hood. We're gonna see if the Marvel Mystery Oil has done its thing. And we're going to just check to see if we can turn it over with a maybe a long extension on a, a ratchet or something. I did bring a torque multiplier with us. Yeah. Uh, you know, so let's let's get to it. I don't know, Wiley, this is a, uh, you think we can turn that crankshaft? I don't know, we might need some help. Yeah. If we only right. loose enough, or if you want to try the, you want to try the starter first, or you want to try the, the bars and see if we can get it where we can put some leverage on it, see about breaking it up. We probably need to leverage it anyway, see if we can okay. break it loose. All right. I mean, we can get serious, you know, next round, take that start off and really get some torque like we did that. Uh, mm, the Steiger, I mean, uh, Champion Grader. Champion, yeah. But a little story about this right here. I talked to the owner again just a minute ago. He said it was the fastest truck he ever had. So huh. with its with it set up. Now this could be an old trucking tail to run 130 <laughs> no, miles an hour. No, say, say truckers don't tell stories. I'm not, I'm say tails. <laughs> 130, huh? Well, it come from, it's around Ponce de Leon and a fella named Wendell drove it. So maybe Wendell will be on here to verify the, <laughs> the 130 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at least do it downhill, right? Yeah, and George Overdrive. That's right. Yeah, let's see if we can get something on there and we'll figure out we can throw something on that crank and get it turned over. I wish they took the radiator out of it. We'd had easier with it. Well, yeah, no kidding, right? These belts that are on <laughs> it went to the air conditioner or a power steering or something. Yeah. We could probably get a socket on there. I got some. I'll put it on the end of the crankshaft. Yeah. And try that? We, yeah, we'll try whatever. You just gonna wrap that strap around there, you think? That's what I was gonna try to do. Okay. And then do like we do on the oil filters. And... A tourniquet, if you will. In theory, that should work if it's not stuck. Can you reach it or you need me to get my hands in there? Where's a seven year old boy at? He can fit right in here. All right, we're, we're kind of having some, some difficulties here after a few minutes. <laughs> so we're gonna get we're gonna give up on that. We're just gonna try to bump it with the batteries and, and see if that works. And then then if that doesn't work, we'll try something a little more a little more dramatic. We're gonna start, start bringing you to every, hey, lift, lift with your legs, not your back. <laughs> you got it? Oh, it is heavy. What's that, Wiley? That was my first job at Hamiltonville Farm. <laughs> Look how far you come, you know he, what I mean? He wore out Tommy tote bears <laughs> and Tommy passed it to me. And... Yeah. Listen, you do good in school, study and all that stuff, you'll be a professional battery toter. You yeah. can go you can go places, buddy. Yeah, if you haven't seen part one, red is negative on this particular setup here. So don't be like, well no wonder he's putting a positive on the negative. No, it, we're not. We are using a crescent wrench though. Proud of you, buddy. Oh, well, Sparky over here is going to have a... Croissant. What do you call it? Uh, soleil au mole or something. Clay au mole. What's my French buddy say? My, bu my Australian buddy say spanners, shifters, and something mole. It's a really fancy word that a redneck can't say. All right, batteries are hooked up. Now we'll go over here and we'll bump the starter. Mm -mm. Oh, the battery popped off. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That ain't good. I think all we gotta do is just take that off and put some fishing lead and make us a post. 
Okay. Right, we're good. I think I just got it too hot holding it down, trying to see if I could get it break loose that way. I, I was pretty sure it wouldn't work, but yeah. that Marlboro Mystery Oil thought might have done it. Yeah. We're gonna have to break it free. Right. Let me get a let me get a socket and a and a ratchet to put on there. Or a multiplier. Yeah. I think that'll work. I wonder if that'll break my uh, handle. So we got a seven eight socket on there, impact socket with a long handle. So we'll see if that's gonna Let's see if that's gonna work. All right. That ain't doing nothing but tightening the bolt, huh? Yeah. But I guess when we get it tight enough, it'll... That's right. All right, ready? I wonder how far they will come out, ain't eh? Oh, I don't know. You wanna try to take them loose and put something across them? I got that boy. All right, let's do that. Plan B. Molly, I guess we can take the starter off. Well, that's the way we had success last time. Wow. Hey. You ain't afraid of hard work, are you? Uh -uh. I'm tired. <laughs> Lay down right beside it. Hand me that 13 16 closure. I think that's what it is. Might be a three quarter. It is. I can do that too. Hand me that black ratchet right there, buddy. All right, stick your hand out like here. I'm going to give you five. Oh. Well, be careful. <laughs> Can you match the number on the match the number on the socket to the number on the tray? All right, Hank, I gotta have a extension. No, I gotta have this at that, that wrench. All right, five eighths. Can you see a five eighths anywhere? Where's a five eighths inch wrench at? Five slash eight. There you go. I either gotta have a, some sockets where I can run and get to it. If this don't work. And this ain't gonna work because that, that round spot ain't gonna go on it. Yeah. Let me have some, let's see if we can get it. I think we won't need this, man, but you <laughs> always take them off, can't you? That's right. Plus, I think we see if the starter's working too. Well, I think it is. I think the engine. Yeah, I think so. I mean, what else we got to do on this beautiful? <laughs> I know, right? Sunny, hot Friday afternoon. See if uh, this everything can just fall all over me. So we got the starter off. That's quite the process. So now we're gonna try to get up in there with a bar and turn the flywheel. All right, so there's the there's the hole what we're gonna try to get a, a bar in. Try to turn that flywheel inside there. See if we can make that thing turn. All right, let me show y'all. Let me try to explain to y'all what we're doing. If y'all can see, I've got the crowbar and I'm putting the tooth of the crowbar or the tip of the crowbar and the tooth of the flywheel. Hold that end of it, Wiley, right oh, quick. I got it. All right, and then you see how that tooth, I hope it shows up, but that the tip of this crowbar goes into the tooth of the flywheel right here. And then me and Wiley, I don't know if this shows up or not, but me and Wiley are trying to pull this crowbar up and it just ain't, <laughs> it ain't budging. Budget. No, Wiley, let's check the, let's check the top of these uh, valve covers. We put that Marvel Mystery Oil in and see if there's any sign of relief. All right, here we go. We're going to take this off here. Oh, no. It smells like Marvel Mystery Oil, but it's just, oh, it's in bad shape, Wally. Look at that. Sometimes you just got to. Sometimes you got to know when to fold them. You know what I mean? I would like to get a 130 mile an hour truck running, wouldn't you? Boy, boy howdy. Sometimes you, sometimes you don't win. No. The Cummins got us on this one. For what, you know, we don't have a potential buyer for this. We don't have driving ability. They don't have the driving ability. We don't have, no one has reached out to us and said that they were interested in it. So we'll just call this. We know where it's at. It ain't moving. It we ain't. We can always come back to it like we yeah. done in the past. Yeah. I do know where another Cummins is. I want to go try though. Let's go to that Steiger. You want to? Let's do that. All right. We did turn it. We did turn it. A lot of people in the comments were saying that it wasn't locked up. Sorry guys, appreciate you guys watching. Take care, God bless.